lot on the line for Rattles here. Get to prove that it was the wrong choice. Let's say goodbye. And Optic Gaming want this series. Oh, I, I think this is going to be one for the ages right here. Not only for pure mechanics and display play of how Rocket League should be played, but if you like drama and if you like stories lines, then buckle in because this series is going to be juicy. Space Station performing quite well with LJ. Maybe a lot of questions if it was the right move, but certainly been playing well so far. And currently, Space Station one's moving the ball through the midfield line. Magic Bear, I got to see him play yesterday. Uh, yep. Everyone uh, knows who Magic Bear is. He's been a guy who's been playing some pretty high-level games for a very long time, but... Some old rival series been, boy. Yes, he's been uh, he's been around the block, so to speak, and this is definitely his first team where he can consistently very likely qualify for regional events, making weekends, getting through closed qualifiers, and performed quite well yesterday. Brilliant positioning, and AJ and Rettles really controlling a lot of the ball in some of their series yesterday, and he was slotting around wherever he needed to be. Yeah, and, and I really feel like Optic Gaming got lucky yesterday against Complexity in that game five. There were a few missed opportunities as uh, Arsenal goes up, and what, what a save there from AJ, keeping that ball out of the goal line, and Optic Gaming holding strong. But back to the point I was making was they did get lucky there in that game five. If you go back and watch, there were a few just errant misses from complexity. But for Optic Gaming here, it's now time to lock in. You've got to play mistake free, especially, especially against a team like Space Station, who's so aggressive. And they're just going to punish every little mistake that you put forth on the field. They're more than happy to get in your face. Daniel doing a nice job to try and break through a couple people, but Magic Bear, patient, the midfield line, buying time for AJ and Rettles to reset themselves here. Nice big oh. bump on Arsenal. Rettles, one-on-one, -on -one where's Ooh. Daniel? And that one's denied into the top corner. AJ trying to continue the attack. Daniel and Arsenal combined to get that ball punched all the way into the blue corner. A nice boost deal from Daniel, trying to limit the transition potential from Opti Gaming. Green wall, gonna have to yield a little bit of ground. Magic Bear just to punt. Rettles in a race against Arsenal. That one's gonna ricochet around the top corner. Daniel just a slow floater into the midfield. Maybe not the touch he wanted. Oh, or the touch they needed. AJ's gonna deliver into the middle of the net. Optic open up the scoring. Nice little pirouette here from AJ, starting near midfield and just continues to push through that ball. And LJ was looking for a little bicycle kick to get it off the goal line. Just a little too short on it. And Optic Gaming, strike first. Really great job from AJ, as he said. Started that carry off beautifully. Able to add a lot of pace to the ball from almost a standstill. That floater from Daniel. Woo. Definitely a little suboptimal as Space Station. Pressing here on the blue half. LJ going to come up empty on the demo. We'll get it on the second try, though. Magic Bear to cover up and delay push. Reynolds getting in Daniel's face as well. LJ is just going to smash this as hard as he can towards the blue side. Magic Bear to control it. Kind of getting two players way on Space Station. And that's really the big thing is just try and shunt and shove them off the ball as much as you can because everyone knows how Space Station likes to play and it's in your face. Well, LJ, especially, that's quite a clear. especially none other than Reynolds, right? I mean, he, he was pretty integral in the success of this team and he knows that you know hey we were kind of responsible for the demo meta when it was at its height and nobody does it better than space station gaming and if there's anyone that's going to know how to counter it it's going to be rettles as aj pushes this ball back past midfield lj up high using a lot of boost to get there but well worth it as magic bear flies by the screen and space station gaming man advantage magic bear goes up but denies and again Space Station Gaming having trouble getting past this midfield line. Yeah, they're really trying to figure out if they can be as aggressive as they would like on some of these challenges because it kind of feels like they're waiting. Space 
see if their teammate wins one or not before they actually jump up for it. And to be fair, I don't fault that. I would do the exact same thing. And that's why they're not able to really string together more of these pushes with a little more pressure. As they're waiting to confirm nice. that the play they think is happening is happening. Magic Bear does a great job to break through that line and finally get Optic out of the blue side. Daniel, by himself here, has a couple of options downfield, and AJ going to cut that one down. Saw it coming. 30 seconds remain here in game number one. Optic Gaming just looking to hold firm. And for you, Achieves, is this the time where you just turtle up, don't even worry about scoring a goal, or just keep the pedal to the metal? I mean, uh, if you're Optic, I think you try and keep up the pressure because you, you never want to seed ground to a team like Space Station as the time comes down. You need to be able to force them to respect you. And Magic Bear doing Great just that down. with the air dribble towards the net. LJ soft tap. Here comes Reynolds to try and bury it. Daniel going to get in his face. Have to do it in the air. And Daniel again. Solid enough tap towards the side wall, and that's actually oh. a great clear. It's an oh. awkward bounce. Arsenal oh. gets a little tip from LJ. Missed oh, the boy. Daniel, Space Station Gaming. What a brilliant zero-second sequence. Oh, the young goat showing out and oh. showing up here in game number one. Tucks it in. Close post and in. Great vision from the young gun there, sending it into OT as it looked like Space Station was done and dusted. Everyone terrified of Arsenal jumping at the ball. Gave him oh, all the pass. respect. And Reynolds had a chance to close it down, but unfortunately was coming in a little too hot. Couldn't adjust his speed. So overtime here in game one, starting off well for Optic, but can they score it again? Daniel's able oh, to dodge it down. Arsenal's on transition. Space Station is going to bury this one and steal game one. And you can see Reynolds, he's just like, I can't believe we lost this. Oh. Oh, I can't believe it either, but when I saw that ball get punted all the way downfield, it's one of those things where it's like, uh-oh, we're in danger. And you saw everyone just fly at the ball, throw themselves, and threw caution to the wind at the same time. And Space Station Gaming, I mean, come out on top, but <laughs> I'll be the first one to say it. They stole game number one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see it again. It look like this is a great idea. Starts off brilliantly for AJ. Great shot. But here it is. Arsenal, everybody in that net was staring at him, wondering where he was going to place it. They were all so ready to dive. And LJ is like, great misdirection. We'll just poke it under him. What a play from Space Station. That's... <laughs> well, and didn't this happen a bunch yesterday where... Uh, Optic Gaming had the lead, and I think it was against FaZe Clan, where it's like they continued to have the lead, and then at halftime, or, or two and a half minutes to go, they just continued to just throw the lead. So it's something it was you gotta keep your eye on, right? That Optic Gaming, can they maintain a lead? Can they hold on to it? Obviously, they're gonna win games, but is this gonna be something that they continue to battle with? They were close games yesterday. It was, uh, it was a 3-0 in favor of FaZe, but they were uh, pretty much all one-goal games with the exception of game one. Two overtime, so Optic But didn't Optic uh, score first in, in games two and three? And uh, maintain a... Oh, LJ. Ooh. Oh, LJ oh, just ooh. shutting us up, saying, stop topic, talking about Optic. Let's talk about us and show mechanics. Ooh. Oh, boy. Beautiful double. Talking about getting on top of one necessary too. only way that was going in towards the bottom of the net lj two big goals now and starting it off strong for space station they're saying yeah we may have stole game one but we're gonna make sure that uh, we earn game two and optic gonna have to press the reset button magic bear unable to go for the demo on lj but that ball is very floaty in this corner and arsenal gonna get it well under his control aj Stolen away on the sidewall and LJ to support and a lot of map pressure here for Space Station. They control a lot of the midfield boost pads at the moment, but they give a lot of ground and LJ kind of gets it a little weak. This is very awkward. Nice little adjustment to throw off the approach from Magic Bear. Space Station may actually have something here as it's going to come straight down and rattles. Great pass. Nice read off the wall. Beautiful pass and great disrupt there from Arsenal as well as AJ deletes Arsenal from the field. The rattles push up. A little too far forward as AJ beats LJ, looking for a double tap. Finds it, but Arsenal denies. Great defense from Space Station, and it continues as Daniel holds down the back line, but they're not out of the woods just yet. 
Low boost here for Space Station. Strong pass, too strong in fact for Magic Bear. But he does steal away the corner boost and keep Space Station in the strap position. The only one with boost was Arsenal. Is able to get up there and find a clear, buying a lot of time here. That's a great job from Space Station to cover oh, up in great. a bad spot. Floater to the back post. Daniel sticks with it. Tries to get on top of the ball. Gets the flip reset so he can force the flip on the challenge. Oh, Daniel. I know you, you've gone through your rookie season and it was great, but you, I didn't know you could level up more. AJ over one. Gets the double, but denied by the bar. He was showing LJ he could get on top of that ball. Also, and Magic Bear with the feels backflip. The pressure continues. But Daniel, great collection of that ball, able to keep it on the goal line and keep it out of the reach of Optic Gaming. And here comes Arsenal, giving him a little breathing room, giving him a little space, and starting the offense for Space Station Gaming. Optic questioning everything they think they know about how to score. Magic Bear just trying to dunk Daniel, saying, forget it. Just gonna come at you as hard as we can. Clearly the air dribbles are not getting through somewhere for some reason. Daniel saying, watch this, this is how you're supposed to do it. Passes to LJ, that one's way too high though. Reddles will take it away from Arsenal wisely. Big counterattack chance for Optic. Unfortunately, Magic Bear not able to put it on target. Reddles in the corner to buy some time here. LJ wants it himself. He will go to the floor. Magic Bear in a very awkward spot, can only hit it weakly and just gonna miss the pinch with Reddles. Optic gonna be on defense here for a moment. Yeah, Magic Bear acquiring the assistance of Rettles there as that one was floating precariously in the box. Is AJ not going to be able to find the touch there off that back wall as Rettles keeping things alive. Another demo from Arsenal and still showing that the aggression is still true for Space Station Gaming as Magic Bear pushing this one downfield. And off the gaming, 90 seconds remain here in game number two. Wow. Still chasing first goal of this game. LJ just sizing up the challenge, not wanting it to pinch off his car into the middle. Slow play from Arsenal, straight off the side wall, and maybe a little bit short-sighted is not really any options, but it will work out. Space Station have plenty of boost here. Now he's in control in the air dribble. Flip reset, looking for help. There's LJ. This is going to come straight down. It's a very awkward one to handle. Oh, LJ almost, <laughs> almost doesn't have to do anything else. AJ nearly scored it himself. As Arsenal... Looking for a little bit of help here. And oh, finally, wow. a nice strong clear for Optic Gaming to fully reset everything. Just a missile into the back right corner of Space Station Gaming. But even with that, Space Station Gaming still maintaining control, still maintaining that offensive pressure. And AJ bombs this one downfield. 30 seconds remain here. Game number two, Optic Gaming. Not a lot of opportunities going to remain here as Rettles gets the touch. Two went for Space Station and LJ. Smartly puts that off the side wall and Magic Bear. Great Ooh. field pass denied by Arsenal. Reddles had that one on target and only one more opportunity remains for Optic Gaming. 10 seconds. LJ going to close it down in the midfield. He's going to have to make a second challenge here against Reddles. That's going to slide through. Daniel so aggressive. LJ doesn't even care about scoring. He wants to steal boost and prevent a strong counterattack. And it may just work. Arsenal, how do you get this one to the floor? AJ going to size up the dribble. A lot of space to work with now. Nick. Through one, LJ to cut it off, and it's going to hit the bounce. lip. AJ to Rettles. There's Arsenal. That should close it down. And no way. Unless AJ makes a big play. Rettles misses the bump, and there is LJ. Will sit on the ball. Space Station win game two. And talk about a disaster of a game for Optic. They had eight shots on target, and I think five or six of them were gorgeous attempts on target. And Space Station, with six saves, kept out some miracles. Yeah, there were some great infield passes from Optic Gaming. Specifically that one with, I think it was, what, 15 seconds to go, and Rettles got denied by Arsenal as we take a look at Optic Gaming electing to take their time out here as they go down 0-2 in the series. And going to try and talk this one out, figure out what's going on as... You see that their boot cam in this one, all three players in the same place. And, you know, I love when teams get together to do that. But right now, not working out well for him. And it achieves, I was correct. I knew I wasn't crazy. Yesterday when Optic Gaming played FaZe, they were the first to score in all three games and lost all three as well. And so far, they're, when they score first, they're six and five. So it's a 50-50. Wow. And when you're a team doing that, 
you got to tighten things up. When you get that first goal, when you have a lead, you've got to be able to control it. Well, definitely some growing pains, certainly for a new roster. I, you know, this timeout feels a little bit different to me. Obviously, yeah, you're going to sit there and talk about if you want to do anything different, but in the previous matchup, V1 was kind of getting blown out of the water, right? They're like, okay, we need to switch something up, right? Gen G's got us figured out. But if your optic here, I don't feel like so much as you need to do anything different. I feel like they had great approaches on net. They just didn't drop in this game too. And this is no. timeout feels more of a stall to be like, okay, let's not have Space Station oh, okay. just run away with this. Let's kind of okay. kill the momentum a little bit and say, let's take a break, cool off a little bit and go back into it. I don't think they want to change too much. I, I agree with you. I, I feel like there's nothing going crazily wrong, especially like you said, for a new roster. But yeah, put Space Station on ice a little bit. But honestly, how are you going to cool off this team when they're getting those saves that they are? They're disrupting the offense of Optic Gaming. And right now, Space Station, I mean, that roster swap is looking like the right decision. They're looking like an unstoppable team right now. LJ playing very well. I I'm loving the pressure he's putting on the ball over on Space Station side of things. That being said, I mean, Optic definitely finding a couple of ways through. So Space Station, the ones who get to say, haha, we knew we made the right choice and it's going to continue in game three. Might be the worst possible start. Rettles gets he gets caught going forward for some reason. I think he thought Magic Bear was going to maybe have a challenge and he was going to go play support. But Arsenal just comes away with the ball for free and Reynolds can't make the tough play over his shoulder. Yeah, and that's one of those where the goal wasn't spectacular, right? I mean, in, in terms of what we've seen in the RLCS. For you and I, Chiefs, yeah, that was an insane goal. We're not hitting goals like that. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty juicy. Good job, Arsenal. <laughs> but for the mentality of what that does, where it's Arsenal going up against Reynolds, he gets the double tap. If you're Rettles, you've got to do everything to erase that out of your memory because you know Arsenal is feeling good after that one. And Rettles caught out again, and Daniel punishes. Yeah, Rettles, he thought he had a little bit of support behind him. AJ was in that opposite corner, and the demo comes through. And so Rettles is thinking, yeah, I can play close support here for Magic Bear because if it gets through, it's fine. AJ's back there, but he heard the demo, tried to recover, and unfortunately didn't even have the boost to make that happen. And... That's the classic space station. You take away all the support systems with the demos and score an easy goal. Yeah, try and put that second man alone on an island, and that's exactly what they did. And he didn't have a play at the ball, didn't have a play at the save. And here comes Arsenal looking for a double, and AJ gets it right underneath him and steals that boost away from Arsenal. Going to slow down the approach here from space station. Is We've yet to see Optic Gaming really get any sustained offense here in game number three is Arsenal boots this one away and AJ pushes it towards middle. Daniel avoids the demo and yet again, Space Station break free. Ooh, okay. So big opportunity here. LJ is just trying to buy time and that's a good steal from AJ. This is what you oh. need if you're Optic Gaming. You've worked a possession away, you've stolen a boost, you need to win some challenges and force the offense to come to you. Let's see what Magic Bear can do with that. And that is a boom of a clear from Arsenal. Great challenge. Now it's Optic in their court to say, yes, oh. we hold possession here. Is Arsenal going to make another big save? Yeah, I'm very curious to know, Achieves, throughout two and a half games, how many demos Space Station Gaming has and how many Arsenal's responsible for? Because I really <laughs> feel like every time we've seen a demo, he's been the one coming out of the smoke screen. Oh, LJ and as I say, like yeah. one. <laughs> oh, and that almost worked out beautifully. Dipped back to Arsenal, and he's just going to waste time, steal the corner boost. Good heads up play from Arsenal, trying to limit Optic's options on defense here. Daniel down to the middle. There's LJ, kind of catches it a little flat, runs away from him a bit. Should not have Optic some time to recover, but there's oh. Daniel off the oh. post. Disaster. Could have had three. Would have felt pretty confident calling the game if you were Space Station right there, but now everything remains up in the air. Anything can happen in two minutes. Yeah, it's just chaos right now for Optic Gaming, and it's at the hand of Space Station. It is not because Optic's playing bad or poorly or anything like that. It's just how fast Space Station Gaming is. And right now, here comes AJ. 
Can't even get a touch on that one. Daniel gets a flip reset to push this one back towards midfield as they link up nice on shot. the passing play. And oh. it was a nice shot, but a oh. better save. And Arsenal and LJ combined. Not sure if it was calculated or what, but it works. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you're Optic Gaming, you're like, how is that not in the net? <laughs> he essentially just own goals it. And it ricochets off the crossbar, off the post, and stays out. Like, those are ones that irritate you to no oh. end. And Reynolds can't jam it into the top right Goomba. there with a little bump on Arsenal. And even still, I mean, you just got to wonder why the net says not today, Optic. I mean, you got to wonder, did Space Station do a deal with the devil? I know Halloween's on the horizon, but it just seems like no matter what, that oh. ball refuses to go in as Reynolds oh. gets a great 50. And again, off target, the ball is just... There's no way. How does this ball not find the back of the net? It's like, it's fine that it's not in, but it's just so far away from any type of support. The challenge is going so wrong. It'll float to LJ through Magic Fair, and Reynolds will make that clear. Only 50 seconds left. Man, it could have been such a different game if you're Optic. You'd only have to find one here in a minute, and they just still might. AJ will finally get something between the goalposts and through the defenders. Nice little chip to the left side. And what do you think? I mean, 45 seconds. I, I think they can. They've certainly got the press to do it. Well, I mean, yeah, of course they can, but... The way this game has been going, yeah, I was does, does the game let on that? Yeah, exactly. I don't see it happening. But AJ might say differently as he gets that shot, and the pressure is on the right half of the field as LJ gets this one back towards the blue half. And Optic Gaming gonna have to march the full length of the field. Twenty-five seconds. Magic Bear gonna need a little bit of help. Awkward transition here for Optic, one-on-one, -on -one. Magic Bear got caught out, playing real tight. LJ says that's too far. Good night, game three. And that right there is called trespassing. You're in no man's land, Magic Bear. Not supposed to be there. And LJ gonna punish and extend this lead and pretty much guarantee Space Station Gaming go up 3-0 and gonna force Optic Gaming to pull off the Almost nearly impossible reverse sweep in a best of seven. Ugh. Tough two games for Optic. I mean, it's it's one thing to have game two go the way it did, where you just don't score, and then to have game three start it off. Bang, two goal lead for Space Station, and then you can't even get yourself back in the game until 50 seconds left. Ah, that was tough. That's that's a tough game to swallow if you're Optic Gaming right there. Well, because like, especially you didn't with the play shots, bad. right? Yeah, you didn't play bad. But to top it all off, it's, it feels like nothing's going your way. And it's just like, oh, devastating. And Arsenal says, yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> Don't stop me. I think that might have been after the one that he uh, scored over Reddles. Over Reddles, absolutely. And I would love to uh, get to hear what he was saying there. That probably pretty fun to listen in on. But either way, we got to see it. And Arsenal, one of the most animated players that we have in the scene and we love him for that and space station gaming get as animated as you want because right now the way you're playing there's no reason not to be and for optic on the other side it's all about slowing down and like you were talking about achieves with that timeout trying to put space station on ice but how are you gonna do that after the series or after the game that we just watched well it's all ball control at this point if you're Optic, just got a forced possession and that one skips away from Magic Bear. Here's the other big problem. I mean, yeah, we've been talking a lot. Arsenal playing very well. LJ being a great support player, but Daniel, I mean, that guy's making the touch. You know what I mean? It's like Space Station needs a touch to go oh, exactly baby. somewhere. Oh, holy. Wow. Forget Daniel. Magic Bear to AJ with pace, 92 miles per hour. Oh, baby, put some hot Ooh. sauce on that one. And 92 miles per hour from the top of the box. If you blink, it's a goal. If you don't, it's still a goal. Optic Gaming get out to a very spicy start. That one out of nowhere. It felt like Space Station was moving the ball pretty nicely, too, horizontally on their own half. But hello, Magic Bear. Positioned beautifully. And 
Better follow up from AJ. Finally on the board first. Whoa! See if they can start to right the ship on that win percentage when oh, scoring later. first a little bit here. Rettles towards the back post, denied with the boost deal though. This should be a two oh. goal lead. It rattles the bar! Oh, rattles! Oh man, you can't write this stuff. Oh, you would, but most people would think it'd be sitting in the fiction section. I cannot believe <laughs> the amount of shots that shoulda, coulda, woulda gone in as AJ sends that one all the way downfield. And speaking of AJ, he's the only player for Optic right now to get a oh, goal. Oh, you can't and... miss? How? <laughs> We're not on land. How is he hitting these shots? You can't miss. He just jumps off the wall, dodges the dunk. He doesn't even have any more boosts. He just set up the line. He's like, if he misses, the ball will be here. And I am correct. <laughs> and AJ missed. <laughs> I'm what telling you. From Daniel. I'm oh. telling you, there were some souls that were sold this weekend because everything is falling just in their laps. Uh, that's two where Optic have to make a tough play. In, in Optic's defense, that is a difficult play to make. It's uh -oh. over your shoulder. Rettles is able to poke that one to safety, but... Base station right back in it. Daniel pulls another one out of the hat. Magic Bear one on one out to the side where Space Station will buy some extra time to work with in the corner. AJ That's threw one, but he gets <laughs> bounced off the top of the ball. Oh, no follow through allowed on that one as Rettles gets that midfield boost, waiting for that reset from Arsenal to come through. Great delay. Force the defender to swing and miss and just fly right past that ball as. Magic Bear, not a great play on that one. Just turns over possession and 1v3. What are you going to do if you're AJ? Nothing, not even get a touch and rush. Rettles, not the greatest touch as that ball just hangs on the goal line. Arsenal just going to lift this one for LJ and AJ, he knew he needed to get out there and close that one down. Wasn't about to let Space Station just grab boost and then start to press in the midfield. So, Optic. Kind of trying to chase this one a little bit, maybe a little too far. AJ gets beat by a mile to a ball. Arsenal Ooh. looking for Daniel to pass a little out of reach. Magic Bear has a chance to recover on defense. Right idea, though, as Rettles carries this ball into the corner. Can't quite find the 50 as Magic Bear. Just a little honesty check there, making sure LJ was in the right position. And two minutes remain here in game number four. So important if Space Station wins this. He's then Optic packing move on to the semifinals, but can't look too far into the future as Optic have shown flashes of brilliance, but right now they just need to hang on. Daniel sizing up the challenge on AJ and he will work his way through. Magic Bear to stall it out in the corner. LJ considering leaving it for Arsenal, but Space Station really kind of pulling themselves out of position there. Thankfully, Daniel is deep back and he wants it himself. He rips it oh. off the wall and AJ this time was equal to the task. Space Station poking and prodding at that optic defense. Any gaps to find, they're searching. Well, it's really easy right now because optic, any clears they're having are just those kind of panic clears where they just try and push that ball all the way to midfield to give themselves a little bit of breathing room. And Space Station Gaming playing so spread right now that it just kind of continues to fall right towards them as Daniel waiting at midfield to poach. And there he is to break up that passing play as Rettles gets the demo on LJ. But let's see if Optic Gaming can get things going here. 45 seconds remain here. Game number four. Strong clear and Daniel would have lift out towards the side. He's going to have to make another great setup for his team here. And able to push Rettles off the ball. Nice little dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge from Rettles. LJ trying to get in Magic Bear's face and just misses the bump on Rettles. And Great defense here from Rettles in a couple of top situations. 20 seconds remaining, overtime looming. Oh boy. Daniel to himself, oh not boy. able to find any bumps. AJ, huge Great recovery touch. to take that one out to the side, but does it amount to anything is the question. Arsenal gonna wheel back around. Daniel's gonna grab the boost on the defense. Dangerous. On his lonesome, tough play to make and just able to beat Magic Bear to the touch. Here we go. All on the line here. Space Station Gaming looking to get the sweep and rub it in the face of Optic Gaming. And for Optic, 
just trying to show up and show out, and that's an opportunity. That's an there open net. Go. AJ punishes the overcommitment from Space Station Gaming, and oh, yeah. what a way to have it in OT, right, Achieves? Give them no shot at offense. Really an awkward one. LJ trying to back pass to the corner. Caught the ball a little strong. Daniel wasn't even expecting it on exactly that line. So a little bit of a misplay there from Space Station. Optic jump all over it. It will go to seven and five now when they score first, if only just, but no one cares how they do it. As long as it happens, you've got another game five coming up here. Optic chance to sort of steady the ship if you win the next game as well you start to feel a little bit better it's like okay we dropped a couple we probably shouldn't have but we know it's doable we know the last one wasn't a fluke we just need to make sure we don't miss the touches over our shoulder on the backboard because apparently space station is just turning in all of them yeah for real i mean any time that they get a look and there's the slightest opening on that goal line they're finding it but for Optic Gaming, I'm really impressed with the passing plays that we're seeing. They're continually trying to find each other in that infield, but Space Station Gaming is definitely getting privy to that. And we've seen that where Arsenal's breaking up those passing plays. So it's time for Magic Bear to live up to that name. Show a little magic here <laughs> in game number five, because like I was saying, Achieves, AJ, the only one to score for Optic so far in this series. And how sweet would it be for Magic Bear to just get unleashed? Strong punt on the onset of game four, or game five, excuse me. Magic Bear sizing up Daniel on the sidewall. And I'm telling you, Daniel's the guy who's the problem. He is making Optic work for possessions if he can help it. He is executing on a lot of his approaches. AJ looking for a touch into the middle. Magic Bear, big oh, break on fake. LJ. Gives Reynolds an open look, and it sails wide on him. Not sure how much he actually had to pick from, but it felt scorable. It, it definitely felt scorable. That's one you got to tuck in. Thankfully for him, though, they do maintain offensive pressure. And as I say, that ball goes right back towards midfield. And here comes AJ. Great read there from LJ. Pre-jumps that, knew exactly what AJ was trying to do. As Rettles goes up, Daniel beats him, and oh, what a save from AJ. The respect shown, realizing Daniel has the skill set to hammer that shot in and position himself accordingly to take away the shooting lane. And AJ kind of chained, dashing up the wall there, but it rolling away from him. Base station, figuring out how to approach on offense. Kind of been a, a slower start for him here in game five in terms of offensive pressure but slowly regaining that presence in the midfield. They oh, miss another one off the backboard. They get the support from Magic Bear, but unfortunately there's too many pieces of Space Station forward and they can't keep them out. Yeah, and you can't fault Magic Bear. That's just a snap save there and better positioning from Daniel. Ready to be the garbage disposal there and just clean up shop as Space Station Get an early goal here, and they've got a long way to go to hold on to it. But from what we've seen, they've done a great job at boxing off the gaming in. AJ, a little floater, huge demo from LJ. Find a bump on another member of Optic as well. On the respawn, Optic really just kind of getting pushed and shoved around a lot here, trying to find some way to retain possession while not conceding any type of positioning in space station 3v1 not having any of it but they do oh, get in the drill one little miscommunication from Reynolds and aj who's actually going to take the ball and that's all space station needs to reset yeah you got to be able to march down the field especially when you have that 3v1 advantage is a mistake goal line open aj can't quite find the angle gotta slow it down in arsenal it's that little swat away as Optic still looking to get some shots on target through half of this game. Only one shot, and that's been from Rettles. Rettles denied a flip reset. Arsenal going to get in his face as fast as possible. LJ over Optic once more at the midfield line. Oh, my gosh. Daniel just pressing as much as he can. Rettles able to break through 
briefly. Magic Bear in support. Can he turn this one in? And the one-on-one -on -one finds the flip reset. Ooh. Delays the touch, but Daniel times it well on the goal line. <laughs> the composure that we've seen from Daniel in this series is so impressive. It is night and day the difference between him last season to this season and that is a scary thing for the rest of north america if not the world because he is, was so impressive on land and coming in as a rookie so many people expecting great things from you and he lived up to i would say all of the expectations but what we've seen yeah. this weekend i mean he truly is living up to that name of being a you know the young goat he's got the jitters out now He's, he's now entered uh, on cruise control. Wow. He knows the he knows the song and dance. He's ready for it. And he's performing now. Oh, well, he's marching to the to the beat of his own drum, right? He is creating so many plays, and it's it's all due to the positioning. He's recognizing where he needs to be, and that's a great shot. But again, the positioning from Daniel. Oh, he trapped. knows where he needs to be at all times. The trap and the stutter step to stop the next two challenges. From absolutely blowing up space station he's he's cruising on defense man <laughs> aj poked into the midfield looking for a little bit of help lj says forget that I'm not even going to try and go for demos this one's just dead let's make, make sure we're ready on defense there it is miss touch finally oh. and it sails wide lj a lot of faith and one finally snuck through daniel's over large net Time to go for broke if you're optic. Got to keep that ball out. Ooh. And great pass forward. AJ doesn't have a lot to work with, and LJ going to bomb it downfield. An optic. Time to go. Blue half all the way to orange. Black. Daniel able to kill that. And Space Station pull off the sweep against Optic Gaming. Ooh.